Hey gang, as Dwight says, uh, I am, uh, this is Sharon here, Dwight's better half, of course. Um, he is busy painting at our house here today, so I am in charge of doing the videos here today. No worries. I used to do this all the time until Dwight took over and I was stuck in the office all day. So it's kind of nice to be out. Uh, we are here on Briar Ridge and <clears throat> we're just a couple houses, let's see, probably one, two, three, probably four houses off from uh, the main crosswater uh, street there. You can see where those cars are going. That's where the stop sign is. So uh, you would turn left to uh, leave the, the neighborhood and get out of crosswater. Otherwise across the street here, got a couple cute houses here. So probably about at least half the street is already built out here yet. The other ones are, are working on it. So cute house. I mean, just cute as a bug here. Uh, let's see. Let me just give you a perspective. As far as the uh, lots here, I don't have all the info sheet here right in front of me here. I'm guessing these are probably either 40 or 50 foot lots here, but I know um, in the email here, I know you probably have all the information. And on this side here, so it looks like there's one, two, probably two, actually probably three vacant lots here. Of course, the one in the middle is already being framed in, but there is another lot here, maybe even two lots actually, now that I think about it. That's kind of right where the ditch is, is uh, right where the grass ends is the end of your property line. So let is go take a look here. Nice, very calming, relaxing blue, very welcoming. And go up the walkway here. And Cindy Walsh, the site agent, just came by to unlock it for me. And let's go inside here. All right, and the flooring, it is a wood look tile. Let me give you a better look here. It's a very easy maintenance. And light fixture. All right, let's go on in here. And what do we have here? Obviously a bedroom, I haven't walked Apologies here, I haven't walked the house here yet myself, so I'm learning about it as you are. So front bedroom here. Standard beige carpeting. Oh, it's gonna be a Jack and Jill bedroom, okay, all right. Obviously your um, closet. And so then we do have a bathroom here between this and the other bedroom, Jack and Jill, as they call it. And linen closet inside, got the double sinks. It is the raised vanity, which is nice. And let me turn that light here so you can see a little bit better. And it looks like it is uh, probably a Corian or Corian similar product. Inset uh, sink. And the cabinets, white cabinets. And then they have a separate door, which is kind of nice. Okay, someone's brushing their teeth or something. Someone else can be taking a shower. And with your kind of tile here. And then into the other bedroom. Probably similar size as the other one. Let me just take a look here at this closet here. A little better look here. So it does go back a little bit there. Right there. And back out into the hallway. And there's a good view of your front entrance. And down this hallway here, let me turn on some lights here. Oops, wrong one there. Okay, <clears throat> oh, so here's probably heading out to the garage. So here's a nice little area here that you could make and do a little drop zone or however you want a little cabinet there or a bench here to put on your shoes. And here's a half bath. The tile goes, continues on through there. Same raised vanity, same type of sink here. Side note for Dwight, 
I just bought some of these. <laughs> I just bought some of these here for our own little guest bath. <laughs> All right, and the laundry room. Same tile continues on. And here is your air handler, kind of all tucked away here. And it is, uh, let's see, where is it here? Distinctions by Amana and put in by AC Designs. 15 Seer. And it was installed in October 2018. And of course the garage, which I think is a little two car, but I think they do have a little extension here, but we'll take a look. And yep, they do have a little, um, a lot of homes here in Nocatee have sort of a, it's actually it is a, well, I guess I won't call it a three car garage because it'll be a little bit tight to put an actual car in there unless it was a really small one. Um, but it is a nice luxury for your golf cart, put your motorcycle, bicycles, lawnmower, whatever you want to do. It does have a separate light up there or make it into a work room. Uh, it looks like they do have a pre-plumbed for a water softener, so that's good. And your electrical panel here. It's nice it does have a window here to let in some light. And your irrigation system controls are there. Obviously your garage door opener. And hey, an extra door. So anyhow, so then you do have like a nice little entrance way you could, people can do different things in that little area. And now let's enter into the main part of the house. Gathering area, let me try to get some more lights on here. Wow, this is a really huge kitchen, very nice. <clears throat> Island, plenty of room here. They just have it set up with three stools, but uh, there'd be plenty of room for four. Good size pantry. And the refrigerator will go there. A little cubby hole area now. That would be a perfect spot for maybe a coffee pot or something. Crown molding. And then you do have your double ovens. Ooh, they're Bosch. And let me see here. Upper oven. Lower oven. Let's see, I was trying to see if They were convection, but I think they're both they're both standard ovens. But plenty of room there, and of course natural gas community. So they do have plenty of counter space, plenty of cabinets. Let's see if they have any. The ones below the uh, stove top here for your pots and pans. Let me take a look at the granite here a little bit closer. And then your island, same thing here. You have a Bosch dishwasher. It is the Silence Plus 50 DBA, whatever that means. <laughs> so pretty quiet. And I'm guessing this is probably for garbage. Got a larger one and a little smaller one right there. There's probably a better view of the countertop. Sink, single sink. Get in there. <clears throat> and then they do have plenty of uh, lighting in the kitchen. They have a lot of can lights, and you can see those two caps there. That is so it's pre wired for pendant lights in case you want to get some, find a couple of really cool lights here to hang over the island so they can personalize it here. A little bit of a cafe area, or however you want to use that. And now this is the um, study or office with French doors. 
Uh, they have told me though that at Riverside Homes, they are planning actually, I guess due to some feedback from some other buyers, that uh, they thought it would be better to make it into a bedroom. So they have plans at this point to get rid of the French doors, frame it in a bit more, put a, a regular door, and actually make it into a bedroom. So I assume that they're... Um, I guess there is a closet here. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be, you know, a full full uh, living type of bedroom. Maybe just if someone's visiting your guest bedroom because that's kind of a small closet. Uh, but that's what their plans are right now. Oh, nice covered ceiling with crown molding. However, um, if whoever is interested in buying it catches them before they do that, uh, then they would leave the French doors if that's what uh, they prefer. Oh, actually, there's another closet over there, so it's two, kind of, two small closets. So... But however, uh, however you prefer it here, whether you want it as a as a more open with the French doors, or if you want it more closed in with just a standard a standard door. And a good size gathering area here too, with tray ceiling and some crown molding there as well. And that would all be pre uh, braced to it. All right, now they just have a standard. Uh, capped up with a standard uh, builder light, but you could certainly get a nice uh, fan and light combination. All right, let's take a look here in the master bedroom. A bit of a cubby hole here, and actually there's a, what's this here, closet? All right, closet here, it might actually be the pantry. Sometimes they do that in master bedrooms, they actually put it outside the bedroom. Wow, a very good size master, wow, this is huge. And you have a double tray with crown molding, uh, once again, they just have the standard builder light, but of course you can personalize it and get a nice fan light combination. And you have a lot of windows. And that is a definitely a king bed and plenty of room, as you can see, on either side. And here's a sneak peek at your backyard, this conservation area. And then on the side, See your neighbors there. And let's take a look at the bathroom here too. So all right, let's take a look. Let me get the light on. And take a look at the tile here. It's kind of the marble, kind of looks like marble. We have the two sinks. One of them that's kind of set up here, perhaps for like a more of a makeup table. Just get yourself a little chair or something. Very large mirror. A lot of counter space. Uh, once again, it is, of course, is the higher height, the uh, adult height. And it is, uh, uh, like I said, it's probably coin or something similar to it. <clears throat> and this one has the garden tub, yep, yeah, okay, with the same flooring tile that continues on up and around. And then a frameless shower, also with the same uh, tile that goes all the way up the wall. And one little corner shelf. And then the flooring is the same, but just in smaller, smaller sections. But it really is nice that it's a, a frameless one here with all the glass. It does really kind of open up the room here a bit. And the other, this will probably be Giovanni's sink. And the water closet. Nothing too exciting there. And then you do have the doors that open up here into your closet. Let me find the light in here. All right, let me back up a bit. Of course, they just have the standard builder uh, grade um, shelving in here. Most people usually end up personalizing a little bit for their own usage and needs. Like I'm having Dwight do. <laughs> I heard a whole closet system, so that'll keep me busy next weekend probably. Plenty of light. So gosh, there's tons of space. Actually, I think you've got a bigger, or this one's a larger master closet than what we're going to have in our new home. 
So I think there we are for the inside.